not funny being sick. I wish I knew what I could do for this code. I can tell you what to do for this code. How would you know? I read the medical book in our library, and I've seen every doctor show on television. I know the nature and treatment of every illness known to man. Our daughter, the doctor. <laughs> so uh, how do I get rid of this <coughs> cough? Before you go to sleep tonight, drink a bottle of milk of magnesia. <laughs> Milk of magnesia? How's that gonna help? When you wake up in the morning, you'll be afraid to cough. <laughs> you got that from a medical book? No, from a rerun of MASH. <laughs> well, my mother always used to say to stay in bed and drink lots and lots of liquids. If I drink lots and lots of liquids, I won't be able to stay in bed. <laughs> but I, I think I better stay home from work today. Oh, you do that, honey. <laughs> But I've got to substitute teach, and we've got to get to school. Come up, help, help me clear the dishes, huh? Dad, how about breathing your cold on me so I can stay home from school? <laughs> Jamie, I thought you liked school this year. I'd like it a lot better if it wasn't for this new kid, Mark, in school. He's always on my case. He's got the personality of Jaws. <laughs> he just moved here, honey, from out of town. He's probably feeling a little out of place. Once he makes some friends, I'm sure he'll be fine. Well, I hope he makes friends soon, because right now he's one big pain. Big pain? Take two aspirin and call me in the morning. <laughs> Thanks for the house call, Doc. House call? That'll be $50. <laughs> Now, as part of our study of drama and poetry, you're all going to write a short play in the form of an old-fashioned melodrama. Now, who can tell me what a melodrama is? Mark? That's for me to know and for you to find out. <laughs> Mom's not going to let him get away with that one. Well, I can understand what you're saying, Mark. We should indeed find out for ourselves. I heard it, but I don't believe it. Now, who can tell me who the key characters are in a melodrama? Yes, Vicky? The key characters are the heroine who is in danger, the villain who puts her in danger, and the hero who saves her from danger. Very good, Vicky. Well, class is almost over, so would everyone pass forward the poems that I assigned? Uh, here's mine. Mom's gonna nail him for that one. Well, Mark must really be proud of his poem. He was in such a hurry to turn it in that he sent it to me air mail. <laughs> if I threw a plane, I'd have to stay after class till I was 50. <laughs> if you threw a plane, you wouldn't reach 50. <laughs> With him, you're a pussycat. <laughs> like I said, he's, he's new and kind of lost. He's also a jerk, a creep, and a squid. A real triple threat. <laughs> Jamie, the best thing you could do is make friends with Mark, okay? Make friends? You gotta be kidding! I'm sure that once you get to know each other, you'll find out that you have a lot in common. They already do. They hate each other. <laughs> be that as it may, I, I want you to make friends with him, Jamie. Why, Mom? Because I said so. Now, you're going to make friends with him whether you like it or not. Got it? Okay, okay. Boy, she sure got her pantyhose in an uproar. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mark, my man, how's it going, old buddy? Give me five. Okay, I'll take one. Bug off, pea brain. Pea brain. That's a good one. <laughs> Look, Mark, how'd you like to come over to my house and shoot some baskets? Unless you got a better idea. Yeah. Why don't I dribble you down the hall and slam dunk you in the trash can? Hey, hey, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Mark, we're just trying to be your friends. I don't need any friends, and I don't want any friends. You're going to make friends whether you like it or not. Vicky, <laughs> put him down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Get away from me. And from now on, stay out of my face. Boy, right 
Writing a melodrama is hard work. <laughs> it's all so messy. <laughs> what are you making, Vicky? Tea for Dad's sore throat. Don't forget the sugar. He likes it sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Harriet. My dad's got a cold and you might catch something. Good. Maybe I'll catch you. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Writing me a love letter? If you must know, I have to write a melodrama for class. A melodrama? Well, I can be a big help. I was in a melodrama once. I played the beautiful heroine. <laughs> <laughs> they picked you for the beautiful heroine? Yes. I was the prettiest, I was the best actress, and I was the only one who could fit into the costume. <laughs> Figures. <laughs> what was the melodrama about? Well, a villain with a big mustache and a black cape ties me to a railroad track. I love it so far. <laughs> and then a big train comes heading right for me. Chugga, 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 chugga. <laughs> And then, just in the nick of time, I'm saved by a handsome hero who's madly in love with me, and we get married and live happily ever after. It drives you crazy with jealousy, doesn't it? I'm gonna have to live with it, Harriet. But, in the meantime, you've given me a great idea for my melodrama. You wanna help me with it? Sure. How? Stands right... Right there. Now say this with feeling. This is goodbye forever. This is goodbye forever. Works for me. <laughs> How's Dad's sore throat, Vicky? When I left him, he went. <laughs> well, maybe he'll feel better after he drank your tea. That's what made him go. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Did you talk to Mark? Were you able to make friends? We tried. We bombed. <laughs> I was afraid of that. I'd like you to try again. Mom, why is it so important to make friends with Mark? Well, you're right. I'm sorry. You deserve an explanation. When Mark entered school, the principal told me something about him that was very distressing. Mark has leukemia. Leukemia? Isn't that some kind of cancer? Yes, the bloodstream fills with cancerous white blood cells which cannot carry on the normal function of fighting infection. Medical Encyclopedia, page 84, paragraph 12, line 9. <laughs> Thanks, doctor. I decided not to tell the class about it because I was afraid of... Oh, that they might not understand, and they make fun of him, or even worse, avoid him. Is Mark going to be all right? Well, I'm told that two out of three children beat it, so his chances are pretty good. Two out of three, that's better odds than Jamie getting a date. <laughs> <laughs> I really feel bad for Mark now. We'll try to make friends with him again. You know, maybe I should talk to his mother and find out if there's something that I should be doing. Hi. Oh, how are you feeling, honey? Like a bunch of alley cats are using my throat for a scratching post. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you sit down? I'll make you some chicken soup. That'll fix it. Okay. The medical encyclopedia does not list chicken soup as a treatment for sore throat. Well, it's a home remedy, Vicky. Chicken soup is very healthy. Not for the chicken. <laughs> Are you... Uh, Mrs. Lawson? Yes, Mrs. Gordon. Uh -huh. uh, well, it's nice to meet you. Uh, oh, this is my daughter, Vicky. Uh, this is Mark's mother. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> well, when you said that you were staying at the Ronald McDonald house, I didn't quite know what to expect. Uh, what kind of place is this? 
Well, this is my home away from home when Mark is being treated in the hospital across the street. Oh, how convenient. Oh, it's a godsend for parents like me. You know, before there was a Ronald McDonald house, parents slept in hospital hallways or spent all their savings on motel rooms. Ooh. <laughs> You mean all of this is free? Well, McDonald's provides a lot of support, but most of the money comes from donations. Families only pay what they can afford, sometimes nothing. Oh, how wonderful. There should be more places like this. Yeah, there are over a hundred of them all over the world. Well, I think I found a favorite new charity. <laughs> Mrs. Lawson, you said that Mark was giving you some trouble in school. I hope you're not letting him get away with anything. She's a pussycat. <laughs> Uh, Vicky, why don't you go over there and help that little boy with his clay? Help the little boy? Yes, that child would like that. He has been trying to build a castle for three days. <laughs> I'm here to help you, poor child. Who asked you? <laughs> Just put a lid on it, shrimpo. <laughs> well, I'm afraid that I have been going easy on Mark in class. <laughs> and the easier I become, the more disruptive he gets. Mm, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, all I can say is that Mark used to be a really friendly kid. It's... Well, he just won't accept the fact that he has leukemia, and he's frightened, and he's angry, and he just wants to go home and pretend that he isn't sick. Oh, it's a pretty frightening thing to face up to, especially when you're away from home and all of your friends. Mm -hmm. But they're so wonderful here, and they, they try to make him feel comfortable. I mean, they're even having a party here on Friday night for the kids. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh, how does Mark feel about that? He couldn't care less. <laughs> you know, until Mark comes to terms with his treatment and his disease, I don't think there's anything either of us can do to change his attitude. Well, I know one thing that I can do. Start treating Mark like every other kid in my class. Mm -hmm. It was so nice meeting you, Mrs. Gordon. Thank you. And thank you for your interest in Mark. Uh, sure. Uh, Vicki, how are you coming with that castle? The castle is finished. Boy, that's terrific. Who asked ya? <laughs> hospital and the doctors got you over your fear of your operation by explaining it to you with hand puppets? Yeah. Tommy Tonsil and Alvin Adenoid. <laughs> well, I thought that maybe we could do the same kind of thing with Mark, using the melodrama that you're writing for class. What do you mean, Mom? Well, maybe you could write it about leukemia, and then maybe we could perform it at the Ronald McDonald House party this Friday. That's a great idea! I'll do it! Oh, honey, thank you. Okay, Wendell, now say goodbye. No. Yes. No. Yes. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. You say goodbye, I'll make you a snail pizza. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> and that was Mary Jane's farewell performance at Ronald McDonald House. We're very happy to say that after her outpatient treatment at the hospital, she is finally going home. <laughs> And now we have something very special for you, presenting the thrilling melodrama, The Perils of Lily White Corpuscle. <laughs> my name is Lily White Corpuscle, and my job is to fight illness and disease. I spent all my time swimming around in this bloodstream. Luke. Well, 
Well, you don't scare me, Big Luke. I can beat you with one hand tied behind my coal puzzle. <laughs> Not when my gang gets through with you. They're filthy, dirty, and nasty. my gang. That's dirty, that's filthy, and the cute one's nasty. <laughs> Go get her, gang. Oh, oh gracious. Oh, oh, my stars. Oh. Big Luke's in charge now. I'm taking over this bloodstream, and nobody can stop me. Chemo. I didn't write it this way. They don't know that. Well, it looks like we've done it again, folks. Another victory for Captain Chemotherapy and his faithful assistant, Radiation. Beginning, so help yourselves. There's plenty of refreshments for everyone. Huh? <laughs> did you like that play? Oh, it was kind of fun. And did you understand what they were trying to tell you? Yeah, I think so. Friends? Friends. Okay, now how about coming over to my house this weekend and we can shoot hoops and stuff? Oh, great idea. We'd love to have you, Mark. Well, I'd really like to, but I can't. I have to take my treatments. After all, how else am I going to be Big Luke? <laughs> well, Vicky and I are rooting for you, Mark. 
Thanks, Jamie. No sweat. Hey, you too, Vicky. No sweat. Oh. <laughs>